What's up, Raider Nation? How do you like that power cord right there in your way? Ah, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. We got it now. All right, there we go. What's up, guys? I'm over here at Ramey's. It's, uh, he's still got a, a gimp leg and shit, so we're at his house watching football tonight. Yep. Uh, so we did the Derek Carr video. This is about the major channel announcements, and stick close towards the end because uh, we've got an announcement. I hope some of you guys can uh, participate in this with us. Uh, but anyway, uh, so Derek Carr's gone, right? That's, I got to talk about that. Yep. So Derek Carr is, is gone. From what I understand, he's left the building. Uh, with all due respect, thank you, Mr. Carr, for what you've attempted to do over the last nine years. It didn't work out. And I wish you the best in your future endeavors. I just, I just don't want it to be here with us. <laughs> uh, Josh McDaniels, that's another thing I got to hit. I'm trying to do a video real quick before the game starts. Josh McDaniels, uh, you're not off the hook, buddy. I mean, realistically, you had a playoff team, and then you, on paper, made them better, yet they were somehow worse. So uh, I don't think you coached to the strength of your players this year, and I hope you learn from that during the offseason that you have to coach to the strength of your players. You have to take that into consideration there's a lot of missed opportunities uh, in play calling this year as well. Uh, I don't think Josh McDaniels should feel safe because if Mark Daniels or if uh, if Mark Davis goes into a casino and went, hits it big, he might just win enough money to uh, fire Mc, McDaniels. Mm, true. Uh, some people have noted that uh, Mark Davis's wealth has increased substantially uh, due to this uh, ticket sales and the Vegas thing. Uh, I haven't seen that on paper. Honestly, I was too lazy to look it up. Uh, but for some reason, Mark Davis uh, really seems to fucking love uh, uh, Josh Josh McDaniels. Uh, so, uh, what, what else? Uh, the Devontae Adams yeah. thing. Apparently, there's He's the rumor. Pissed. Well, I don't know how pissed he really is. Well, he ended it with fuck you. Well... I think that's, if I'm being complete, I mean, Derek Carr's his neighbor. And they are really good friends. Like, really good friends. Yeah, he said it's the only reason that but he Devontae went to Vegas. But Devontae Adams also wants to win a suit. Well, that was one of the reasons he went to Vegas. Well, I think, I think Carr reasons. was the cherry on top, okay? Realistically, I think Carr was the cherry on top. I think Devontae Adams, uh, his family is from, you know, he's a West Coast guy. His, fam his family is in that vicinity and is able to travel to his games. I think that had a huge deal on it. Uh, no state income tax. If I'm, if I'm being completely honest, he essentially is the highest paid wide receiver. I think he actually might be even still before that. But wow. you, take, you take away that state income tax, which for these guys is what, 15% to up to 20% in some states? Probably, yeah, somewhere in there. So, I mean, that's, that's literally like a 15 or 20% raise, so... That probably has something to do with it. Uh, I don't think Devontae Adams is going anywhere. Now, uh, I don't know. Darren Waller and Mac Hollins seem to be really supportive of the direction of the team and, and just realize that, hey, it's next man up, and they're excited to see what Jared Stidham can do. I'm oh, excited yeah. to see what Jared Stidham can do. I watched his highlights. Now, granted, I think everybody is. They're, good. they're just going to show you highlights, but what if Raider Nation – what if? And please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, share, notifications, all that good shit, please. If you wouldn't mind, it helps us out. What if Jared Sidham goes in uh, to week 17 and is the new Brock Purdy? Like, just straight, just fucking lasers that ass. And we whoop the shit out of the 49ers and the Chiefs. And a whole bunch of other shit ends up, and he takes us deep in the playoffs. <clears throat> okay, realistically, we can understand the only difference is going to be the quarterback. Okay, the team's already coached a certain way. They've been coached a certain way all year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there's no... Uh, that's The only difference is going to be the actual physical person there doing it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really the only difference. Maybe certain tendencies and shit like that, but... But they've uh, all been going through the same plays. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They've been going through the same plays. So, exactly. What if Jarrett Stidham goes in there and uh, 
just takes us fucking deep and does it with fucking poise and class and, and conviction and shit. Uh, because, hey, because we know Derek Carr's done. There's no more Derek Carr. Yeah, that's uh, over with. <clears throat> I, at Raider Nation, I still, still do not want to see Tom Brady. Please, God, no. I don't know. I think no, it would be great. No, he can be great somewhere else, dude. I'm sorry. Tuck that. All right? Tuck that shit. I don't know. That's a tuck rule reference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll see how that works out, though. Uh, I mean, I doubt it'll happen. Uh, well, no. Uh, he did say he likes Vegas. He did say he likes Vegas. And he did indicate also today that he may take the league minimum. You know, if he's willing to do it, I mean, why not have a <clears throat> for a year? <clears throat> to be honest with you, Tom Brady at the league minimum is a fucking business decision, and it's a good deal, and you just go with it. You have to. I mean, I'm sorry. And then at we that all, point, and you then we can't all buy... not do it. It would be idiotic not to take. But that, that motherfucker deal. owes us a fucking Super Bowl. He probably. Does. All right, Tom Brady, if you Look, if you end up here and you don't give mission. us a Super Bowl, dude. Your ex-wife will be the least of your problems, okay? <laughs> no, I think you he can do it. You owe us a Super Bowl, so... No, I think that's his... his uh, if, if he's not going to stay where I, he's at, then his here's what I is going to take another Here's what I want to see. I want to see Stidham ball the fuck out, take us deep in the playoffs, do something awesome. I'd actually like to see Stidham win a Super Bowl. Uh, I mean... Let's face it, crazier things have happened. Yeah, I was going to say, crazier things have happened. Man. Uh, so, yeah, you never know. You know, so, uh, but, and then you no know, need for Tom Brady. You know, just yeah. go, well, you know, there's no no sense coming here and doing Vegas' Super Bowl, or first Super Bowl in Vegas, you know, mm -hmm. here, you know, because it's already, it was done last year. Yeah. I don't think it's happening. I really don't. It probably won't. I'll probably put five bucks on it, though. I would one do of those, that. One of those little... I'd, like, I'd throw, like... Five we're not sponsoring a particular app because they're not no. sponsoring us. Yeah, so. but I'd throw five dollars uh, on that bet. Five bucks. Yeah, I'll do that. Raiders over the 49ers, thirteen to ten. No, just that Brady will go to the 49ers. I can see Brady going to the. 49ers. Or not 49ers, I'm sorry, but the Raiders. That's what oh, I'm saying. No. Oh no! I, I put five bucks on that. That uh. he that he will. There's probably a they you can probably do there's that. There's a thin chance. Okay, like okay. that I'm sure that there's some Vegas betting odds yeah. on that. I am sure there is. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you're dude, looking for your Yeah. My cigarettes, yeah. Oh, I thought you were looking for your phone. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> that's right there. That's that'd be funny though, because I'm recording on my phone. Yeah, that, well that's why I thought that you were <laughs> to, to, look, right. to, to look that stat up or something. So I guys I don't the I don't were. think Devontae Adams is going anywhere. I don't think we'll Probably ever not. see Carr in a in a Raiders uniform ever again. You're not going to. I think Josh McDaniels is on a he's going to be held on a tight leash, and if he doesn't produce a yeah, if he backs off, off, then they're going to can him, shit can him. Yeah, if, if Josh McDaniels doesn't fucking do something next but year. he wants to win. Look, you, you got to think, most yeah, of these guys are so they competitive. Want to, they do want to win. They, that it, it, they'll, they'll put yeah. those things aside to, to win. Yeah. Which it's, I you don't You got to trust in feel, the best intentions of the person to start I don't to feel like he's with. being disloyal to Carr by staying. Oh, Adams? No. Why would you? Seventeen million dollars? I tell yeah, you, to go fuck know, off for seventeen million dollars. I mean, goddamn, <coughs> it's, it's seventeen million a year that Vontae Adams is making. Well, the thing is, he was a, he's, no. he just came out being the the better, more consistently good player, and Carr couldn't keep the consistency up. Uh, it's. I think we're gonna cut Carr and just pay the five million and say fuck it. I'm pretty positive. Uh, that's which what's unfortunately happening. is even a bigger insult to Carr. Yeah. Because I think it's kind of that funny. means that means to Mark Davis it's worth five million dollars to never see you again. Yeah, I kind of think it's funny the uh, way that they're doing it because you remember you you had told me several times that you know you can't get him injured at this point. Period. You can't. And look what look what happened. I they're think, like, uh -oh, well, I think that played gonna, a lot into. We it. are going to pay out a yeah. whole lot less. Yeah. If we do it this way and just piss him yeah, off. Yeah, I think it was... Uh, they're going to get out of it so much cheaper than they would have if he'd have gotten injured. Yeah. You know what and, I mean? That's well, my point. Well, and that's the thing. And I feel like, like this was their cheaper route to get rid of him. And they were already planning on that for next season and, anyway. And uh, 
you so know, it's like, like so basically they, put, they told him not even to come into the. They don't. No, I know. He's done. They don't want him tripping and falling. Yeah, no, no, no. he's in he's walking out. in the door. They he don't want him going. Oh, fucking forty million dollars! <laughs> fuck, yeah, broke no, my arm, coach. He is. He is out, out. I'm gonna go get one of the legal prescription yeah, now and yeah. fucking just sit there and nah, just don't get fat. He's super out, man. He's done. There. I mean, maybe there's another team that'll pick him up. Watch the Browns pick him up. No, they're too into, into Deshaun Watson. Colts or Jets, I'm thinking. Yeah, well. Colts or Jets. I think either one of those teams would trade for him. I'd rather uh, see him. I like the Jets. I'd rather see him with the Colts. <laughs> <laughs> Colts or Jets. Bad. That Colts or Jets. Uh, he may go to the Patriots, but I don't, I don't think Bel- Belichick... I- Belichick mm, doesn't want Carr. No. And, no. Yeah. Belichick likes to work with newbies. He likes them fresh out of college and then builds them into what he wants. Yeah. Which isn't a no, bad no, thing. No, dude, if you can do that. Because he's brilliant And at apparently, it. yeah, apparently that's dude his skill. dude is super good at it. And so. Randy Reed, too. Yeah. I mean, Mahomes just came out of college and Andy Reed's like, all right, let's, make, let's get you a ring. Damn, Andy Get you that half a billion dollars. Look, I know that this is... You know, Kansas City Chiefs, is salary capped for a minute, the, bro. Oh yeah, but here's the thing: whether you like the Chiefs or not, you got to admit Andy Reid is fucking brilliant. I mean, he just draws fucking mustaches on people. Dude. Yeah, it's hilarious. I mean, that commercial. So I'd funny. let him draw a mustache on me. Dude. I shave my mustache so that, Andy <laughs> so Reed, that he could draw one. So on Andy Reid could draw a mustache <laughs> right. on me. You know, just that's because how much I respect Andy Reid. It happened again, Coach. All that's right, so, so woo woo. Do we have sirens and shit, or do we just fucking major announcement, guys? Oh uh, yeah, major announcement. Shit, I forgot about that already. Major <laughs> fucking announcement, and I hope it's gonna be hope, fun. I hope some of you be. guys that we've conversed with in the chat yeah. come in and see this video and stuck around for this. We're going to be in Vegas from March 6th to basically the 9th. 9th. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a Monday through Thursday. We're going out there. We found some cheap air airfare yeah. out of our local Dude, uh, airport. You go to Vegas during the week, it's dirt cheap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so guys, fucking hit me up in the DMs or whatever. Do they have DMs here on YouTube or something or on you know? Yeah, follow them on uh, Instagram. Oh yeah, I've got Lefty Plays Righty on Instagram. Yeah, also. same same tag. Same tag. So yeah, uh, find him over on Instagram and hit him up on his DMs. Help, hit hit me up through Instagram if you want a message. If you guys want to get, uh, I'd love to get together at a local sports bar. Yeah. And fucking just hang out and meet some of you guys and hang out with some of you guys. Uh, and yeah, so that's the big news is we're going to be down there. We are going to probably do a live video at some point from uh, there. Of course. Cause I mean, Dude. March it's got, you know, shit going on, it's you know, freaking, all, all sorts of shit going on. It was freaking Verbo and, uh, or whatever, um, Airbnb house we found. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see guys. I mean, it's, it is looks sick. Looks pretty pimp. But it anyway, Guys, the game is getting ready to come on, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and kill this yeah. video, turn that volume up. Uh, we'll, we may even do like a halftime thing, you know, maybe even a live halftime thing, you know, just pop in, say hi to you guys and shit, uh, but we're gonna we're not going to have the actual game going in the background because uh, I actually got in trouble for that. Yeah, <laughs> can't uh, do that. NFL doesn't prefer, they prefer that you not have... They prefer you write them a check to do that, and I, I, this is on, dude. I, I don't even have a thousand followers. Dude, there was so a no, guy no. that was doing the MMA matches. Mm. He was, he didn't have sound on, he didn't have anything, but what he did have on, he was wearing some big ass aviator sunglasses, and he had the, image. and he was sitting right in front wow. of the screen so that you could, it was backwards, but you could see it. That's isn't that sad? And, but they caught him on that. Just think about the... Oh, AI. They got them off of a reflection. Just think about the algorithm that has to exist to have caught that. Oh, no, man. They probably have a team of people that are scanning the YouTube for hashtags yeah, about knows. live fights right. and all that. Probably. And they, I guarantee they do. Probably. All right, guys. I've actually been on one as it got shut down before. <laughs> I'm going to say go... I'm going to say Titans on this one. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna that's Titans. what I... am going to root for the Titans. Yeah, I'm going to uh, be rooting for the Titans, My wife's too. an Eagles fan. Cowboys are in her division, barking mm. up, you know, creeping up behind her, well, so... You know my you know uh, my take on Texas. 
Yep. Fuck was, Texas. Yeah, pretty much. I, sorry to anybody that yeah, lives in Texas. I, I'm sorry, but yeah. I, well, <laughs> I have literally never had a good experience down there, and I've spent a lot of time down there. Well, driving through it. Dude. That's why it sucked so bad, I think, is because uh, I was just I driving to through it. It's like, God, hurry up. I went to L.A. from Houston, which is right on the coast. Dude, that was the... Just getting through Texas was one of the fucking worst things ever. I was driving yeah. through at night. Yeah, it's, there it's are these awful. like 20 foot tall fences on each side of the road because deer are everywhere. <laughs> so <laughs> you're driving as fast as you possibly can, which ends up being like 30 miles an hour the right. whole way through. Guys, we're out. See you guys.